Hello, Internet. It is I, the real Randy Chavez, giving you a shout out to my Patreon members. They have been absolutely amazing in this Earth 2 update game, and there's my as well. Uh, so I just wanted to go over a couple of things here the taxes of tiles. Um, again, if you use my referral code, you are going to get 5% off of any land or tiles that you purchase. Speaking of referral codes and tiles, uh, if you buy one tile for 10 cents, you're not going to get a half a penny. What the game does, it rounds you up to that full penny. So it's a nice little uh, exploitable glitch that it does take a long time to do. And for me and a lot of other people, it's not really worth it. But if you want 10% of your money and not 5%, that's what you can do. Um, speaking of stuff, in your settings, in the drop-down box underneath your referral code, there is something called Etherscan. And it brings you to a page where it looks like it's set up for where you can trade and have transactions in Ethereum. And for those of you that don't know, Ethereum is another popular cryptocurrency like Litecoin or Bitcoin. I think Dogecoin is probably my favorite. Not because I believe in it as an investment long-term hold over any other cryptocurrency. I just like it for the memes and the lols. Post your favorite memes of Doge down below. And if anyone comes up with a Harambe coin, I will drop $1,000 on that immediately. Everyone type F in the chat for our beloved fallen hero Harambe. But regardless of which cryptocurrency they use, the game itself actually acts like one. At least the tiles do anyway. There's only a limited number of tiles. We know how many there are. And we know who's been buying them. So that right there gives you the knowledge to kind of calculate how many there are, what this is worth, what this could potentially be worth. Uh, speaking of worth, the UAE has been blowing up like a mother flapper. It's a pretty small country. Uh, it is almost as small as Kuwait and Qatar. It is surrounded by Saudi Arabia, Iran, and Oman. Uh, why I didn't buy the UAE is because I didn't hear of this uh, game in time. It was only available for the first week and then made unavailable again for religious and legal reasons. Um, but the reason it has gone up despite nobody being able to buy it is just because of those people getting it in the first couple of weeks. People in there have been trading it throughout each other, cross trades if you will. They have been taking place. There definitely won't be any class 4 tiles in that country. There might not be even any class three as well, just because it's so small. Uh, that's why I worry about uh, future tax revenue of the country. Now, other Middle Eastern countries like Saudi Arabia, Iran, and Turkey have much larger land masses. I'm very excited for Saudi Arabia just because of the money that's bound to flow into it. All right, Adam, my brother. I'll catch you later. Merry Christmas. You too. And outside of that, we're going to have so much money in from other Middle Eastern countries. It'd be kind of like a game of tag or FU, similar to what you have in the military, where you kind of make fun of the other branches. If you're in Air Force, you make fun of the Army. In the Army, you make fun of the Marines and whatever, so on and so forth. But as you have these other countries like UAE, Saudi Arabia, being able to buy each other's countries, that's something that I expect to happen 100%. You have these kind of FU money over there. Oh, my car has a dent in it. I'm just going to get a new car. That's exactly their mindset and what the upper echelons of people do over there. Um, now, because all of man-made objects will disappear in phase two, meaning all the buildings, skyscrapers, what have you, I am expecting to, for someone to build in an African place where there was a city, a Wakanda type of place. They could probably have it covered in forests. They're probably going to build a city like underneath it. And what they might do is if anyone's seen a uh, Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace, when the gun guns, at the last time, they have this giant energy shield to cover all of their troops so nothing could get in. You could walk in the shield, but it stops any type of bullets or tank things from firing. That's something I could picture um, them having for a Wakanda-type place. And if you could imagine an Okoye character with the, Do the, Doja uh, the Dora Milaje riding on rhinos or hippos into battle, that would be pretty freaking awesome. Hippos are one of the most... Um, territorial land creatures. They're huge that they are. Uh, they actually kill double the amount of people that lions do every year. So I figured this would be something to cool, riding on animals into battle. Um, but also, user alert, there is someone with the username Donald Trump, Donald Trump in all caps, and that person has Trump Tower in Waikiki, um, Waikiki, Hawaii. And for anyone that lives in Hawaii, has been stationed at Hickam Air Force Base, or has ever seen that Rocket Power TV movie, knows what Waikiki is. It's a neighborhood uh, of Honolulu on the south shore of the island of Oahu. I thought that was pretty cool. Some other cool locations would be uh, EU headquarters, which is located in Belgium. So even though Belgium's a small country, think of the mega lols and the memes that could be made with that. Belgium waffles. We could say that 
uh, you're a model and your name is Waffle and you're from Belgium, but it has EU headquarters, something that definitely could be recreated in phase two. Um, that's not what I've been buying. What I've been buying um, yesterday a lot was a lot of Antarctica, just because I believe that there is going to be a, um, again, I don't have any information on this. I don't have insider information. I'm not like this with the developers or anything, but figure Antarctica is such a large land of mass and it's still very cheap. Class one, 13 cents a tile. I, my mindset is that's going to spawn a lot of Excuse me. God bless me. Uh, that's going to spawn a lot of good resources. Again, that's just in my mind. So that's why I've been buying a lot of that up. Again, it's very cheap, class one tiles. And it's not that it's going to ever be, uh, it's like a small country, like, oh, all the land will be bought up pretty immediately once that's figured out. No, if it turns out that it spawns some really good resources, everyone else will be buying. And there is so much to buy there. There is uh, right now, currently, 6,113,000 tiles around there that have been bought out of the 5.1 trillion tiles that are available in this game. So it's about 0.0001% of the tiles. So if you're worried that, oh man, you know what, uh, I'm, I'm not getting, I didn't get in early enough, I don't want to, don't worry. There's still about 99.999% of the tiles left. Uh, speaking of which, I have been getting into mostly last night and today, South Africa, partly because, again, it's part of the BRICS nations, the Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. There's even someone on, I think, the top three or four uh, person. He's saying that he thoroughly wants people to go into South Africa. I don't know what that person is. I feel like that person probably just has a um, vested interest. He probably just has a lot of land in South Africa like I do. Again, I'm just letting you know what I'm buying. I'm actually going to show you guys right here. Obviously, we still have Nudge, the American, uh, the user 288928, the Chinese person. And over there on number four, Argentina and South Africa are primed to soar as potential continental powerhouses. I don't know where that flag is from. I'm a little uneducated, but I am happy that four out of the six, four of the top six, including Aria Realty, my friend Steve, I will link his channel down below, um, is up there for uh, as America. Now, that person, or again, I don't know who that person is. I don't know why this person thinks Argentina and South Africa are primed to soar. I think he just has a vested interest in that. For me, I obviously like South Africa because of the reasons I told you. It's part of the BRICS nations. I do want to have a Chavez international relations type thing in here. Just letting you know uh, what I have been buying as well. That I am not BSing you. Actually, before we get to that, I would like to get you to my E-Trade, letting you know that I am putting my money where my out, where my mouth is. This is my stocks. Most of it is in Tesla. I'm not just someone saying like, oh, I'm going to put tens of thousands of dollars into it. I really do mean it. I do have a good amount of money just in the stock market. Not something where I'm just tooting my own horn or whatever you want to call it. This is something I just want to let you know that I am a real person. I do have success in other places, not just um, I'm not just kind of spitball on trying to, you know, stroke your ego or, or feed you anything, whatever. But outside of that, my the profile right now for E2 doesn't want to show exactly what I've been buying, just lo loading the user data. But if you anyone has any questions, please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, again, I do all this for free. Patreon down below. I love you all. Referral code. I love you. Comment, like, and subscribe. I love you. I love you. Please use my referral code, please. <laughs> all right, bye, guys.